What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at why I believe the introduction of Superman could bring millions of new users into VV. But before we do this, I just want to say thank you for the recent support I've been getting on my videos. We've nearly reached 100 subscribers in the first two weeks of the channel being alive, which I never thought would be possible. I thought it would take way longer to get to this point. So I just want to say thank you for the recent support. Now, what I want to jump into here is the total box office sales that Superman movies have generated since its inception. Now, it's important for us to keep this in mind when we sort of navigate ourselves within these new brands that are being introduced into Vivi, because seeing what uh, the brand's been able to produce in a form of different media, like movies, like merchandise, like comic book sales, we can get an idea about whether this brand's actually going to be impactful when introduced into the VV marketplace and whether it will be able to bring new users into the marketplace as well. Now, the first thing I want to take our attention to here is that the movie's been able to generate, or the total collective movie's been able to generate, over $2.5 billion in collective sales. Now, when you see a movie and a franchise go on since the billions of dollar sales, this is what I like to call a globally impacted brand. This is something that has been watched by millions and millions, tens of millions of people across the world. Uh, there'll be many uh, millions of mega fans that have been produced by the, essentially uh, enjoying the, the franchise, enjoying the Superman brand. Now, this is an important thing for us to keep into mind because this NFT marketplace is so new. And when you have something this new, you need to have mega fans inside of brands that will essentially uh, adopt the uh, VV NFTs that want to get involved with this new collectible space because that's how these marketplaces start out. Um, specifically with VV, we can use this as an example. Everyone that's in VV right now is an, is an initial beta adopter. We are uh, the first of, the, the first initial collectors within VV. Now, we can use that same mythology and have a look at, uh, at Superman in this example and see there will be super fans within Superman. Uh, that, and that sounds quite punny, but that's what I'm trying. This is my point I'm trying to get, get across here is that having those those super fans within this franchise will essentially uh, drop the barrier of entry for them to get involved with NFTs because they'll, they'll want to follow them into the other aspects of, uh, of media and collecting that they already do outside the NFT space. And seeing that they've been able to produce over $2.5 billion in sales, you can be rest assured there are millions of fans out there that enjoy Superman. And seeing uh, that the first film was released on December 15th, 1978, and even now films being generated and created in 2020, we can see this brand is still relevant inside of sort of action figures and, and superhero style films. Now, this is important to keep in mind that having this relevancy and, and seeing their audience translate and go on to watch other films they've generated can give us an idea that, you know, this brand is followed. They have an audience that follows them over time. They're interested in the films that they, they, they produce. They, they're, they're still interested to this day about the different things they uh, they bring out. And that's important for us to keep in mind because they may still get They may be interested in the NFTs that Vivi introduced uh, with the Superman brand and the different collectibles they introduce uh, into the marketplace. The next thing I want us to take a look at is the total retail sales that have generated by Superman. Now, the reason I like to do this is just because a movie's done well doesn't mean that the audience will go on to collect them. It doesn't mean they'll go on to buy the collectibles and essentially get involved with the different uh, comic books in this instance with Superman and the different collectible action figures with Superman. Now, as you can see here, They've produced over $5.7 billion in retail sales, which is actually higher than their box office sales. This is incredibly important metric for us to consider when, the, uh, when looking at their total user base that could be brought into the VV marketplace with Superman. Seeing they've produced over double their movie sales in their retail sales goes to show that this brand is, is super impactful. People are extremely interested in the other merchandise that Superman bring along. They're really interested in the different collectibles that Superman have and the different things they've been able to introduce over time. And seeing this metric, we can get an idea that, in my opinion, with over 5 billion in retail sales, 
we could see millions of people influx into the VV marketplace. And seeing now that we have over 250,000 different users and seeing this ripple effect that, uh, with the uh, social media aspects of people taking pictures of their NFTs, uh, we'll see people take pictures of their Superman and share it on social media and get their friends excited and involved. I think we could see this ripple effect happening much more aggressively when seeing a brand like Superman brought along because the jump from 15,000 uh, uh, app downloads to 250,000 app downloads was something like 30 days. So can you imagine when you introduce this type of brand, Superman, into an audience of that size and that ripple effect of 250,000 into millions of users? And see, the thing is, it's important for us to keep note that this is why Vivi are slowing down the, the growth of their app. They're aware of this. They understand that introducing brands of this size with the audience that we already have could have huge impacts on the amount of users that could come into this space. And seeing the retail sales, we can get an idea of potentially the amount of people that might want to get involved with this new emerging market of NFTs, um, which just makes it incredibly exciting how big Superman actually could be for the Vivi marketplace. And then I just want to take a look here at that breakdown of this $5.7 billion. We can take, have a look at essentially how those, how those numbers broke down. So 1.7 billion retail sales up to 2006, which is an incredibly large amount of um, amount of comic books and merchandise. But this is a more important metric I want to take into consideration. So we've got $280 million in total sales of merchandise in 2010, 554 million during 2012 to 2013, 305 million in 2014 and 725 million in 2015, 850 million in 2016, just demonstrating that growth within the merchandise of uh, Superman and that interest of people wanting to collect in this space. Now, this is also an important metric for us to keep in mind. Is that the demand of Superman is still growing to this day. So when we introduce a new collectible into the VV marketplace and seeing this uh, overall growth and demand within Superman and their films and their collectibles, we could see that when VV markets Superman and they get them involved in the, in the community and the sort of uh, community driven content of VV, which is what we already see within the application right now, in the form of people taking pictures with their, uh, with their NFTs and getting excited about their collectible, we could see that the introduction of Superman could have that viral effect. It could essentially have that, uh, yeah, like I said, that viral impact. And that's an important metric to keep in mind. And like I said before, I think that's why we're seeing Vivi slow down the growth of Superman, or not Superman, sorry, of their, of their marketplace, so they can iron out these bugs and introduce them. Superman can have a huge impact moving forward. The next thing I want to do is just get an idea about the potential collectibles that we could see introduced through Vivi. You know, we've seen currently these action, uh, action figure style NFTs. So as we scroll through, I just want to get an idea of potentially what we could see. We've got the Atomic Comic Superman prize ring, which would be interesting. You can imagine this, uh, seeing uh, VV introduce more customizable elements within, or want to introduce more customizable, element, customizable elements within their NFTs. We could see potentially here like Superman ring and we can see uh, different comic book style NFTs, which in the form of comic art, which I'll touch on in the next slide. We've got, uh, as I keep scrolling up, we've got this uh, operating tank. And these are just the most successful uh, or the most in demand and rare collectibles in Superman. So we can get an idea about how, essentially what they might introduce. We've got uh, Superman in, in the form of a um of an actual collectible, so the actual Superman uh, itself as an action figure. And as we go through, we can see this Superman wind up roller play, uh, uh, rollover plane. Who knows? You may see them do this and see this more creative element that VV are introducing into their platform. So I'm just going to scroll through so you can get an idea of what these different collectibles could look like. The last thing I want to touch upon, which I think is the, a really exciting part of what we may actually see introduced from the uh, Superman launch and what we saw in Ultraman, is actually the 2D comic art. At, seeing how popular Superman has been in the comic book space and how impactful their brand has been within comic books over time and over history, uh, we could get an idea of potentially what they might introduce in the form of this 2D comic art and what we could uh, and and why this could be so big for Vivi and bringing these new users along because Superman has a huge audience in comic books and seeing this 2D comic art could uh, sort of implement nostalgia. Uh, people getting excited about comic art they used to love and things they may have bought in the past and wanted to get involved with. So further introducing and highlighting this adoption rate that we may see with uh, with an introduction of 2D comic art. 
And as we can see here, one of the rebates that sales went for $3.2 million. So that's a huge, huge sale for, uh, for a comic book, just showing and highlighting how the rarity of these comic books and the demand of these comic books may bring and may bring headline news and headline and virality if 2D comic art was released. So I'm just going to scroll through here so you guys can get an idea of the general scope and the general uh, sort of artwork uh, within these comic books. And I just think that's really exciting, seeing what Ultraman did with the, with their 2D comic art. I'm really excited to see what they may introduce moving forward. And and having these comic book arts is just a great way of, uh, of us being able to customise our NFT uh, uh, our NFT spaces, our virtual reality space. Um, and, and seeing what Superman have done, we can really see how this could be introduced into the VV marketplace and seeing what they've already introduced so far. So I hope this video has made sense and that you've enjoyed what I've uh, brought across to you today. Superman will be a humongous brand that will be brought into VV in the coming future. And hopefully we see it in the next coming months um, moving forward. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.